One of the main issues in our efforts to get things right is AccuSpread. Now, AccuSpread is where we, uh, we take trays out in the middle of a paddock and we line them up in a row and we get the driver to drive the uh, trucks across that at their normal spreading width and rate and uh, whatever product they're using. Now, when we get that, we, we weigh the individual trays. These trays are spread at a metre, uh, half a metre apart, and then they're weighed, put on a uh, computer program. We're aiming at a coefficient variation of 15%. Now, with all this information on a spread chart, we can see where the optimum level is for these spreaders to do. And that will give us an efficient uh, spread pattern. And we know that uh, the fertiliser is evenly spread. That's what we're aiming for, evenly spread across a paddock. Some spreaders, if you don't have them tested, could be spreading uh, 30 metres, but only 10 per cent is getting to 30 metres and 90 per cent is getting behind, the, behind the, uh, the, the actual spreading unit. Some spreaders might be spreading 60 per cent, and some spreaders might only be spreading 40 per cent efficiency. So we're aiming at a coefficient variation of 15 per cent, and that will give uh, the growers an even application for fertiliser. And uh, if it's not, you can easily see, especially in a horticultural crop, you can see that there's yellowing and then there's extra green because uh, some of the area has received deficient amount of fertiliser and some's received more. So if later on in the crop's life, where the, uh, the extra fertiliser's been spreading might be okay for a while, but then it'll burn off. And then that leads to lower yields. So Australia's got to try and produce more food for the nation and for the world. So this is where we're aiming at, to get the right fertiliser at the right time and the right, uh, right rate per hectare. Certainly in the past we've seen a lot of stripping in paddocks with um, yeah, spreaders not capable of spreading the width we've been trying to push them. So yeah, you see uh, yellow stripping where the crop hasn't got enough nitrogen and then some rich green strips. Um, so yeah, um, you have seen a lot of uh, over and under applying which causes um, yeah, probably yield loss over the whole paddock maximising water use efficiency. We, we live in a climate where perhaps water will be limiting in the future, so we've got to get our spreading right so that we can maximise our production for what the inputs are. I think if we can get an even spread of our fertiliser, we can um, yeah, maximise yield and water use efficiency across our paddocks without under and over applying in areas and hopefully keep an even protein across our paddocks as well.